Uh, they ain't like somebody do that. I keep it waving, no do that. I'm just my nigga, I'm sick with a flu ass. That nigga, bitch, came with my sister, nigga. I fuck the shoe match. Shoot first, you know they don't shoot back. Uh, you like a soldier in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, they ain't like somebody do that. I keep it waving, no do that. I'm just my nigga, I'm sick with a flu ass. What's up, T Buzz and Zebo? So, your girl is back for another video. So today's video is the first time I have never worked with this company ever. They're called So Good Hair. I got me a wig from them and I'm hoping that it looks really cute because I have done some work to it, you know, like bleaching, pre-plucking, styling, you know, so a girl has put in her work for this one. So, So Good Hair sent me their ombre chestnut colored wig, and I do believe the name of it is Ashley. It's 180% density, 20 inches, hunties, and the color is advertised as a light brown color. So this is what she looks like right now. These curls have been sitting in her for like probably like a week and a half, really long. And I'm hoping that they're not too tight because sometimes I just pre-style everything and then by the time I put it on, the curls be like so tight. So I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes. I hope everybody's having a really great day and they are, you know, staying indoors. Me, I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes and then we're gonna jump right into this video real quick. When you receive your package from So Good Hair, you receive it in their standard white box. So Good Hair will also provide some amenities such as some faux strip eyelashes. These ones are really full and I do like the length of these. You'll also receive a wig cap which will protect your hair and this will come in the standard two-piece cap. You'll also receive a black elastic band which if you do decide to sew into your cap, you can do so. Along with that, some of their combs. The unit that I have is the Ashley Chestnut Brown. This unit is 180% in density and it is a 13 by 6 lace frontal. This is also 100% virgin human hair. The color of the unit is a chestnut brown ombre in T1 slash 33. The hairline has been pre-plucked and lightly bleached. Delivery time for this unit is between seven to 10 days and it is free shipping worldwide via Express. As you guys can see, the wig has come already pre-styled, but I went ahead and washed the unit and also bleached some of the knot. The frontal is bleached slightly, and this unit you can actually put on and wear once you receive it. As you guys can see, the lace color is a light brown. and the knots were actually bleached really nicely. But I did go ahead in the further back portion of the unit and bleach just a little more. You can definitely check out So Good Hair I'll leave all of their information below as they have many units to choose from at affordable prices. All right, you guys, so now that you have seen how the wig comes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these curls from it. This is a true 180. I have seen some that say 180 and really remind me of 150. So when they say 180 with their wigs, they are really true 180 density wig so you get a lot of hair a nice amount of volume this is i do believe a body wave you know what i'm saying you can get it in the larger 
cap size. You can also get it in longer lens. Price was $268. Glad that the roots were dark. Get a wig that's already colored. The roots are always like body. You need to bleach it and downfall is you definitely cannot bleach it if it's already been colored. I really prefer them with darker roots so that way I know I can bleach it, which I did and it lifted really easy and the pre-plucking came out, you know, just like I always do. We're going to see how she looks. All right, you guys, so real quick, I went ahead and I put an elastic band in it, kind of sewed it and twisted too. And inside the cap is the elastic band that I sewed and twisted, the combs, and then in the back in the nape is the adjustable strap there isn't a comb in the back wow the comb that they put right here could have really went right here but i'm not about to sew in the comb so. all right guys so you already know the standard drill this is the lace frontal the one cool thing about this one right here is it fits perfectly like i ain't got to cut none of the sides off on this in case you guys are wondering what is the white uh, spots on the lace that's actually the wax stick for me pressing it in the hair and i thought i would try this eyebrow trimmer out but um, they don't seem to last very long. I only got a few uses out of that one. So I just decided to use my scissors and cut into the unit. I'm just going to cut like little dips and curves because I really don't want a blunt cut around the hairline of this wig. But I did tell you, I do tell, I will tell you that I did bleach the knots in it and I pre-plucked the hairline some more. It wasn't too bad the way it came, but you know, I just wanted it to look more natural. So... I went ahead and did that and now I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to pull out some of the flyaways the wispy hairs the baby hairs whatever you want to call them but the reason why I do this also is not to just glue down the baby hairs or anything like that it's also for me to use my hairspray so I'm going to use the got to be glam force and I'll spray a little bit underneath and then I'll take the rest of it and I will spray in between the part that's the reason why I part it most of the time. You know, can't use all these baby hairs, but that's just what I do. And then I take the nozzle of my blow dryer on cool to medium heat, and I press it in between the part, so that way the wig can dry down or the product can dry down. And then I take my rat tail comb and I do the same. This hairspray works really good. You can find it on Amazon. Hopefully I'll remember to leave the link, but I've been using this for the longest. I also use the bed head. To me, they're not really that much different in comparison. I guess it all depends on your body chemistry. But you know, I like this one just as much as I like the bed head. So I hope you guys and gals, you kittens and cats, you cats and kittens, you cute cats and kittens out there are having like a really great day, you know, keeping yourself occupied. I do like this wig. I'm very shocked that it came out so nice because I didn't really have high hopes about it, especially because I never worked with this company before. So I wasn't really like expecting the most. But, you know, I guess they fooled me. This wig is actually really, really nice. The color is nice in it. It's not just a one solid 33 because I see different colors of that 33 in there, which is really nice also. So they did a great job on this. Now I'm just going to use my Dollar Tree Salon Selectives Styling Mousse and just give me some of those little wispy hairs. You don't have to use a lot of it. This is some really good styling mousse from the Dollar Tree. It looks really good. So if you don't want to spend a lot, go ahead and check them out. You know, they always have this at the Dollar Tree, so you don't have to go outside right now and get it. But when you do have the opportunity, check it out. And I did notice this little piece of lace right here, so I'm going to cut that off. So I styled this, took all my time to style this wig and didn't really come out like I expected. It's kind of dry. So, you know, as you guys can see, the ends are kind of dry and that's just because it's colored, you know, color, when you do process the hair, it does dry out.
Now here's the part where I'm just gonna spray that OGX color uh, protectant oil in it. This stuff smells so good and it works really well. It'll give it some life, it'll take the dryness out of it and it's really good for color treated hair and it's a heat protectant. So I'm just gonna take my barrel curler and curl. You guys know the rest. I'm not gonna bore you any more than I probably already have, right? Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, ladies, so this is it. I'm happy, like, listen, I really thought that this wig was not gonna come out like correct. So I did not save the best for last. I was really intentionally going to do three video reviews today. This is the second one. By the looks of this wig, I'm not about to take it off. So I guess the third video, which is just a curly wig, you know, I do curly wigs all the time. That will just have to wait for another day. I honestly, I honestly felt like it wasn't gonna work out in my favor and I wasn't gonna be too happy with it because of the lace. The lace is not that bad. And you know what I'm saying? You'll definitely be able to make it look more natural without having to do too much. I just want to make sure that there isn't any lace at all noticeable. Yeah, so as far as the lace goes, it's decent, you know what I mean? I was already prepared to put my face press powder on it, and I'm not really sure if it's going to make a difference, but I'm going to try it out anyway. So it didn't really make that much of a difference. Um, my color that I have is NC42. Even though I've styled it off camera and then I had to restyle it again, I think it looks much better because the hair was kind of dry. So I sprayed some of this OGX Orchid oil on it. This is the color protectant oil. It has sun filters, UVB. This stuff smells really good. I like it. It did help with the dryness. It was, you know, once you color hair, process it, it gets a little dry. So you'll definitely want to just put some type of oil on it. Don't get too crazy with it. You only need like a couple of spritzes. As as far as the fit, it fit properly. The only one thing that I'm not really happy about is why didn't they put a comb in the nape area? Like that's the most important. When I make a wig, I always put two, one on each side of the nape. The middle is cool, but if you put them on both sides, then the wig is definitely not going to rise up in the back. I did not use the anchor comb in the middle, but the one cool thing about this wig is it fit perfectly. Like it's not too small, it's not too big. I didn't have to cut off any of the excess lace on the side which is great. It fit perfectly. The density is nice. The color is beautiful. I'm glad they did some dark roots in this. Girl, I really don't have nothing to complain about with this wig at all. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what I can say about it. I said what I said. I will leave So Good Hair's information down below. Make sure you check them out. Even if you don't want to buy nothing, just look around, see what you like. You know what I'm saying? I know that we all are going through something right now, so I don't expect you guys to purchase anything. But, you know, I just wanted to come on here and cheer you guys up, come through with the video, shout you out, you guys, you know, and have some fun with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy talking to you guys. I hope you all are safe and well. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe the video. I'll leave all of the information in the description links below for you guys. And on that note, I got to go. I love you guys, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.